what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music really stoked to have my friend daniel donato back for another little guest session he's such an amazing country guitar player with all the great traditional styles but then also like a modern fusion take on that he's gonna break down pedal steel bends he's gonna be able to describe it better than me uh, but real quick you can check out the links below for daniel's stuff and uh, without further ado daniel donato pedal steel bends take it away <laughs> Thank you so much, Marty. I'm very excited to bring to your channel here today a concept that country music knows and loves, which is pedal steel bends. And if you're not a pedal steel player and you have a six string guitar such as myself, I have some special ideas for you that can give you new insights and sounds and ideas that you would not have gotten anywhere else. The pedal steel is an instrument that is almost proprietary to country music. That's at least where it started. And it's a a classic sound to the country genre. On a six string standard electric guitar, you can find yourself emulating this very complex and technically challenging instrument. What I want to talk about here is how to do it with major sounds and then dominant sounds, which means that that's a little bit more bluesy, a little bit more rock and roll, and not so sweet sounding. You want to know both. You want to know both the yin of the major and the yang of the dominant. Go back to my previous two videos to understand what I'm going to be doing with my right hand, which is hybrid picking, and then what I'm going to be doing on my left hand, which will incorporate some double stops with these pedal steel bends. The most simple pedal steel bend, the first one that I learned, and pretty much the one I still use the most, is this one. We'll start in the key of E first. My pinky is going to be on 12, 12, E, B string. And then I'm going to use my three remaining fingers on the G string. Look how my index is on nine, my middle's on 11, and my ring's on 12. I'm not, you can't hear 11, and you can't hear, you can't hear 10, and you can't hear nine. But on 11, you can hear. Why I'm doing this is because I need the support to bend this string with my pinky holding these two strings down. You can't do this. I've been playing guitar for over half my life, almost ridiculous hours of every day, and I still can't do this. So it won't work. So you've got to get these other two down here for the support. And what we're going to do here is we're going to bend a full step up. We're going to bend from F sharp to G sharp, fret 11 to fret 13, and this brings us into an E chord. There it is. So what I'm doing here to execute this with my right hands, I'm simply just strumming. Practice with just starting that, just strumming these, and then bringing it down. This is a chance for you to hear the tuning and to hear your intonation in your mind and to trust your own inner musicianship in this way. So it has to sound right and feel right. Coming up and coming down. Up. Let's talk about a few ways that we could expand this. So I could hit all three at once, more like a piano. And I'll be using my pick, my middle, and my ring finger. Or I could bend and do that. So what I'm doing here is
and just get into these almost cylindrical circular exercises of just going through that motion. Very, very nice, very beautiful, very sweet melodic. I'm playing a song in E, I'm probably going to have an A chord or a B chord of some kind. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the many wonders of the fundamental nature of the guitar, which is taking A shape and just simply moving it to another key and it works perfectly well. And we'll do it in A here. I could also do the octave. Right, so all I was doing here was on five, five, four. And then up here I was on seven, 17, 17, 16. 17, 17, 16, five, five, four. But what I want to challenge you with here is moving shapes. That alone will keep you busy for hours. All I'm doing here is I'm moving between an E triad and an A triad. And you'll notice that even the triads that I used to show you in that example were the same shape. The shapes are all movable. One more major pedal steel technique to show you here. Less of a triad based approach, but more of a single note based approach but using some double stops. This will be in that BB King position, which is major four pentatonic pattern. We're gonna be here. We're gonna be on seven. Seven, B, up to nine. Pinky on seven. Keep that B string bent. This is where you're going to find this is very difficult. So I'm going to go seven, 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 five, seven, back down to five. Now what's marvelous about this is that this is our E note. So that's the center of our pattern because that's our tonal center. If I want to move it to A, I can just do that here and execute and play the same pattern. Move it up to B, do the same pattern. Very slowly in A. And B. More time. Back to E. And again, get into that circle of playing through these changes and hearing that A is A and hearing that B is B and then knowing where that is. That's it for now for major pedal steel bends. Now, if you're playing in a song that isn't so necessarily country and major and beautiful, and you want to get into something that's more bluesy, like a dominant seven, that kind of a thing, that's where dominant pedal steel bends are going to start to come into play. And these are really cool. Uh, so this is a Ralph Mooney inspired idea. So we'll be an E here. You'll see that this is actually quite similar to the E major. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this E, I'm gonna take our home base here, I'm gonna move it to the flat seven, otherwise known as the dominant seven, otherwise known as the minor seven. It has three names for the same note, and it's a little confusing. 
but it's the same note. It's just the dominant seven in the key of E, which is D. Kind of sounds like a train pulling into the station. So I'm going to go 14G, 12B, 10E. I would practice this either strumming at first or pianoing it, which is uh, using the pick, middle, and the ring. This is going to be a challenge for you because you're going to have to bend with your middle finger up a full step on the G string. Not very intuitively easy at first on the guitar. And there's one more here, which is uh, based out of the minor pentatonic scale, position one. And that's going to be on 14, 15, 12. You also can do with the middle and ring finger on the G string. And how I ended it here was 13 G, 14 D. I can combine these two together. So there you go. And there's one more here for uh, a dominant sounding pedal steel bend. This is something that James Burton would play. James Burton can be found on some Real Haggard songs like Working Man Blues, I'm Bringing Home Good News. You could also hear him on songs from Graham Parsons like Ooh Las Vegas, where he would be playing song ideas like this. So this will be out of minor pentatonic pattern four, T of E. On 10, B, 10 E, 10 B, 7 E, bring 10 down, 8 B, 9 G. Then one more to sophisticate this just a little bit more is to combine the major with the minor. One more exercise. This is a very hard, this is a hard one. This is an idea that I took from Tom Brumley, um, who played pedal steel guitar with Buck Owens. What Tom did is what we try to do on guitar is this. What he did was he took these two and he moved them down. But the note in between stays the same. It's a fascinating difference. That's normal. Now if we want to do it the Tom Brumley way, we would actually go. We're stacking notes in a different order. The notes are the same, but they're played in a different order, yet they sound different. So what I'm gonna do here is on, I'm on A string, ring finger 14, D string 14, pinky, index finger is going to be pulling down to the ground, not to me, which is where most bends go. They go up. What we're gonna go do is down here. This is gonna be challenging for your left hand, but what it's going to do is going to teach your left hand that it's capable of any sound that you hear in your head. And it might just be a little hard at first, but you just gotta stay patient and persistent when practicing it and trust that intuitive intonation that's in your, in your ear. What's really cool is I could take the same shape in E, because this looks just like an E chord, doesn't it? Because it is. I could take the same thing and bring it down to D. And I could bring it up to A. So the exercise here is taking 
a conventional pedal steel bend, moving the voices down and bending it this way. All right, thank you guys for watching. Also, once again, huge shout out and thank you to Daniel Donato for uh, doing this little guest session here. If you dug it or you have any questions or you'd like to see more topics with Daniel, let me know in the comments below. And also while you're down there, you can check links for Daniel Donato's social links, Daniel Donato Cosmic Country, and also his education stuff. So check it out, support him. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.